2013, an altcoin called Ethereum was created. In 2015, this altcoin would have cost you around 6 rand 78 cent. And in one in the first of December 2021, the same altcoin would have cost you more than 73,000 rand. Remember, six years ago, this altcoin was 6 rand 70. Eight cent, meaning it was just less than seven red. Right? So, what is Ethereum? How did this happen in six years, and how did you miss it? Please stick around, and then I will tell you more. But today I just want to dive in on our altcoins or alternative coins. Like I did tell you on another video that we did previously, I think last week if I'm not making a mistake, we were talking about Bitcoin, doing an introduction, what is Bitcoin, how it can help you, uh, the, the reason why you should invest in this altcoin and also in on, on cryptocurrencies and also just making a breakdown of the stuff that you might not be aware of as a beginner investor, as most of us believe that these things are a scam and also they are dangerous and you might lose money on these things. Remember guys, we are an educational channel and we always tell you everything you do and everything you put your money on, you need to back yourself with education. So when you back yourself with education, everything will be easier and also it will be easier for you to understand how things work and how you're going to make that money then. so now very important point by guys about uh, altcoins we would not have had altcoins or alternative coins if there was no bitcoin so bitcoin is alpha and omega and in terms of market cap and also in terms of let's say just uh, in a simple way being powerful bitcoin is the alpha omega and it is the most powerful digital asset out there as things stand. So Ethereum, the one that I was telling you about, is the second biggest and cryptocurrency in terms of market cap, or we can just plainly say it's the biggest altcoin in terms of market cap and also in terms of utility, the things it can do. Yeah? So now like I did tell you guys, yeah, there was a time whereby we were using I'm a post office to send letters. So now we're no longer doing that. What are we doing? We're sending each other emails, we're using Discord, we're using WhatsApp, we're using all digital platforms to communicate. We're no longer writing letters to each other, sending them, sending them to post office, and then waiting for a few days, or even sometimes it might take weeks for that letter to get to that destination, or even the worst part, it can get lost, you know, and then the next thing you see that person after two weeks and three weeks and you tell them, hey, I wrote you a letter, I was having a birthday party for my son, but you didn't come through. And then this person will tell you, I mean, I didn't receive any letter. Eh? So now, due to technology advancing and due to the progress that is happening in the space of technology, we have seen the digital things becoming more dominant and becoming the things that people prepare, prefer to use, right? So now, the same thing is happening with our money. Just like how we know our money, we have coins and we have papers. So now, these cryptocurrencies can be used as an alternative of our money that we know as it is. But the thing is, you do not get paper money from this thing and you do not gonna, you're not going to get coins. You're not going to get an actual coin. It's all digital. So remember, they always tell us, do not bet against technology because you end up losing. So immediately after Bitcoin, it was expected and everyone knows since it was money and it was in the finance space, there were going to be some competitors. So in every industry, I think you can get into, there's always competitors and people always speak bad if there's a monopoly for an example if you're in south africa you know we only have escom which is providing us with electricity and look at us where we are with load shedding we are getting cold 
and we are getting uh, back to the stone age whereby we are living in the dark because ESCOM is a monopoly. So it's very important in any space to have competition, to have competitors. Because if there's competitors and there's competition, people are always going to give their best and they're always going to perform at their best level in order for them to catch your customers, in order for them to be relevant, in order for them to be dominant. So also with Bitcoin, it was a matter of time. Before some people came and started creating the other alternative coins, hence that is why we have something called alt coins. So now, one of the first alt coins that we created, it was the Litecoin, and it was the main coin. It was back in 2011. Yeah? And then another very important information, guys. Currently, we have more than 1,000 alt coins that are out there, and the thing is. They are creating a lot of these coins on a daily basis frequently. So now here's a trick. Not all these coins are created to have something that is useful or to have a good impact in society or even to make a difference or to solve any problem. Like when you look at things like Bitcoin and Ethereum. Okay? So now some of these art coins are created by developers with a sole purpose of stealing money from you. So now you have to get into the space with an open mind. You must be willing to learn. So I always tell you, this is not a pyramid scheme that you are pushing, but you are pushing information and knowledge and education, which is what I always tell you and I will always forever tell you, beg yourself with education, understand the things that you are putting money on. You cannot just throw money on stuff and just happen and, and just expect miracles to happen. You need to understand how things work. Then ask questions where you don't understand, you will always get the answers, obviously, if you're asking the right people. So now we have to be very careful when dealing with cryptocurrencies because, like I have told you, they are creating a lot of coins or tokens rather that have no use case. And some of them, they even call them meme coins, which is basically means it's for fun. But they don't create them with an intention of solving any problem or even, you know, trying to create any sort of use case or anything. Yeah? So now, one of the great things about Ethereum, if you are an artist, if you are an artist, you can use Ethereum to sell your art in a digital form. They call it NFT, non-fungible tokens. People are making millions there. Some people they call it it's a fraud. Some people they call it money laundering. Some people they call it uh, they say people are gaining money. But at the end of the day, if you're an artist, you know, I'm just telling you out there, you need to learn about cryptocurrencies because there's something called Ethereum that you can use to sell your art in a digital form. And people are actually making millions selling NFTs. If you do get some time, you can go on your Google. I always tell you guys, do your own personal research. Just Google NFT prices. You will see the prices. So if you are an artist, you are in social movement, you are in Claremont, Juan Marshall, Soweto, Kailisha, uh, think about this. Put your art in a digital form and start selling it as NFT. You can use Ethereum to do that because Ethereum is the biggest uh, cryptocurrency that is used when it comes to selling NFTs and also most of the biggest sales that were done in the NFT space were done using Ethereum. Yeah? So one of the top six cryptocurrencies that I just want to give you guys is obviously Bitcoin, I told you it's Alpha and Omega, it's number one. Then it's followed by Ethereum, USDT, BNB, USDC, and also they have XRP, you know, on this list. Isn't it? So now those are the top six altcoins, including Bitcoin, uh, included, you know, in the top six. Isn't it? So these are the coins that if you are a beginner investor, I will personally say rather start looking at them before you start exploring them. Yeah? And then we have something that I did tell you before, meme coins. Meme coins guys are created for funds by developers. They have no utility, 
They have no intention of building long-term relationship or creating anything special out of this client. But here's a trick about that memory client. You can invest a thousand rand and in the space of a year or six months, that thousand rand can turn into a million rand. That sounds fly, is it? But listen, you need to know how to play the game in order for you to do that. And as a beginner investor, I wouldn't advise you to do that. Rather stick with the coins that are established, that have been in the game for a long time, that have a plan and that uh, they actually do me something in terms of you know how are they solving problem, how are they having utility, how are they being used, you know, by the people out there. Okay guys, so currently, based on service that have been done, they say uh, there's 420 million plus people globally who are users of cryptos. So either they are trading, either they are investing, or some of them they are just buying it and holding it, waiting it to gain, you know. So now, also another important point, 10% of Americans have admitted that they have invested in cryptocurrencies or they even traded or done anything. Yeah? So now, some of you might ask yourself, then I'm in Rwanda, I'm in Kenya, I'm in South Africa, I'm in Nigeria. So how does this have to do with me? So please note, when it comes to technology, when it comes to the leaders in technology, Americans are one of the people who are leading. They have given us iPhone, they have given us Facebook, they have given us Microsoft, they have given us Twitter, just to name a few things. So now you need to pay attention to this developed nation as to how are they behaving towards crypto, what are they speaking about when it comes to crypto. So when you look at these developed countries, they are already speaking about regulation. How are they going to regulate cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin? How are they going to fuse it to our current financial system? Because remember, like I did tell you, there's 420 million plus people who have put their money in this industry so you cannot ignore these people and currently the crypto market is sitting about more, more is sitting about more than a trillion us dollars so there's money that is circulating around this industry that is more than a trillion us dollars so now i'm not saying this is going to make you rich but like i always tell you beg yourself with education and information and you don't want to be left behind. You don't want to be like those people when computers were introduced at when places. They did not know how to use computers and they wanted to continue using papers. Why the companies wanted to use computers because of effectiveness and also because of productivity. It can help us to do stuff quicker and even better. So now you don't want to be those people who were left behind and they were stuck back in the old age. So it's very important for us as investors to continuously consume information and also stay up to date with the information. And also a very important point, Easy Equities does offer cryptocurrencies. So I don't want you when you're browsing on that app that's an Easy Equities or that platform that's an Easy Equities to be like, okay, then what is Ethereum? What is this cryptocurrency business that is happening here? So I want you to also be aware and also take into consideration that you have to diversify your investment. You cannot only invest on stocks, which are shares in South Africa, that's what we call them. So you can also diversify your investment, put some of your money on property, put some of your money on cryptocurrency. Yeah? So now you know if the cryptocurrency market is doing well and people are making money, then you can also be part of those people who are making money. Don't be left behind or be put in a position whereby you'll start fearing, missing out and making this money and start putting your money in wrong 
places. So bag yourself with information, bag yourself with knowledge. And like I always tell you guys, easy FCs have made it possible for us to invest and make things easier uh, in a way that you don't have to worry about being scammed or anything. Like I always tell you, you don't have to put any money on us you know, we're just giving you information as to how can you go about it. And we've told you, Easy Equities have a partnership with Capitec and Discovery Bank. So if you go on your Capitec Bank app, you will definitely see Easy Equities. So you're not going to make those partnerships if you are a scam. Okay, guys, very important. Eh? Uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, these are technologies. These are new technologies. Né? Bitcoin is 30 years old. So Mina, what I'm trying to encourage you on and what I'm trying to push you on as a beginner investor is to learn about these technologies. Understand these technologies. Understand how they work. Because there's more than 400 million people around the world who are using this. Né? And then how you feel about Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies it does not matter how you feel now for the correlation, how you feel there on March, how you feel in Soweto, how you feel in social movie, how you feel in Karangua, it really doesn't matter. Whether you're independent, it doesn't matter. But what matters is there are more than 400 million people around the world who are using this technology, who are investing in this technology, who are trading this technology, who believe in this technology. That's what's meant it. And the growth. So if you look at the growth of Bitcoin especially, and you look at the percentage in terms of the growth that it has had for the past 10 years, the percentage, I will leave it up to you to Google that. And then you can just drop a comment and tell me what is the percentage. Because if I tell you guys, you'll start telling me that I'm telling you. And I remember I told you, in 2010, Bitcoin was just one rand. Today, it's sitting at more than 500,000 rand. That is half a million. So that is an insane growth over a period of 10 years. So it's actually performed better than a lot of these companies, big companies, in fact. It has performed better than these companies. And it's considered by some people as the best performing assets for the past 10 years. So ask yourself this question, why are you not learning about this technology? Why are you not learning about this asset that has performed better than all the assets in the world? So you have a responsibility as an investor, as a beginner investor to learn about this technology and try to get as much information as you can. Né? And also remember, me now I'm in South Africa, guys. Né? So we don't have electric cars. Né? We don't have electric cars as far as my knowledge is concerned, and I tend to be corrected on this one. Né? But in the United States, in Europe, and in Asia, they have something which is called Tesla. And it's an electric car, it doesn't use petrol. So now it doesn't mean because I'm in South Africa. There's no electric cars. I've never seen an electric car in South Africa. That's I'm going to say now. No electric cars are a scam, or electric cars are not real. They are there, they do exist, and there are people out there in the world who are using them. So for me, who is in South Africa, when there are no electric cars, and I've never seen an electric car, my responsibility is, responsibility is to try and learn about them. Né? Guys, Saying Balanje, as tradition and phrase in general, as now my daughter Mafishani and I'm a shakovo as in getting as a mental reach, but we're just providing you with information. Ne? 10 years later, 15 years later, we don't want you to be in a position to say, hey, I wish I knew this, or hey, I wish I would have listened to this guy, ne? or I wish I would have tried to learn this thing earlier, and then when it explodes, or when it becomes a norm, or it's used, you know, all around, I'm also part of the people who are using it, and I'm also part of the people who understand how to use it. Imagine in 2023, 
you don't know how to operate a smartphone and you are a 30 year old or even a 20 year old that is a moment obviously there are people in some places who might not be able to use it but for us and in our position and where we stay it's a norm to be able to use a smartphone so now in the next 10 or 20 years if you don't understand these technologies and if you don't understand how to use them trust me you will be the same person who stays in Durban or in Johannesburg or Pretoria or Cape Town who does not how to who does not know how to use a smartphone at the age of 20 you will be no different to them otherwise it's to end invest and spend please do like subscribe to our channel and share our content to people you think they might be interested in it and do drop a comment just to tell us what you feel about the information we're giving you and also just the knowledge that we are sharing and also the things that you might be interested on in it so we are going to continue to give more information on bitcoin and cryptocurrencies like i did tell you guys it's there and easy equities so i don't want you when you see Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies and easy equities and be like, ah, Sifuna Mandela scam by easy equities. You need to learn.